News, Heath Allen joins us live with all the details. Heath. Uh, well, guys, here's the bottom line. We're going to refer <coughs> to this elderly woman as Miss Susan. She moved into this apartment complex, the Palmetto Greens apartment homes back in 2017. And when she did, she was able to move up and down the stairs and such. But surgery left her wheelchair bound and she could no longer handle stairs. And according to her lawsuit, there is no elevator. She asked the apartment complex for a first floor apartment. But again, according to the lawsuit, her requests were denied. Now, the Greater New Orleans Fair Housing Action Center says that lawsuit has been settled, awarding Ms. Susan $205,000 in damages and attorney fees. The apartment house operators will also receive fair housing training and change policies related to residents with disabilities. The GNO Fair Housing Action Center represented Ms. Susan in this lawsuit. She is being moved to a first floor apartment, but uh, the changes that we were granted as a result of the settlement, we really hope will um, standardize the property manager's um, processes across all of the nine apartment complexes that they manage in the New Orleans area. And we talked to the owners of Palmetto Green's apartment homes as Paisley Court LLC out of Texas. And by statement, they said this was a complicated lawsuit. Our focus was on resolving the matter instead of litigating it. And we were able to do so with the input of all of the stakeholders. But there was another side effect that a lot of people wouldn't even believe happened. They wouldn't suspect it at all. It has to do with the St. Tammany Parish Fire District 12. We're going to tell you what that impact was coming up at 5 o'clock. Guys, back to you. All right, Heath, thank you.